Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. This episode is being recorded two months after the last episode. And there's a very good reason for it. About three days after I had recorded that first episode, some drama went down in my in the free company that I was in and unfortunately I was in the center of it. Uh, suffice it to say none of it was really my fault. Basically some people got butt hurt over some insignificant things. It was blown way out of proportion and the response to said drama was not particularly handled well by the leaders of the free company. So to that end, I and a lot of my friends left to find another place. And that place is the Celestial Armada, which actually at the time, one of my other friends or somebody on my friends list was in this free company. Since joining said free company, I have noticed a lot of glaring deficiencies in the previous FC. Namely, in the fact that they would... They would invite random people without even talking to them. Well, that's not really a problem so much as... They would go after specifically new players and then proceed to do nothing but end game content. While 75 to 90% of the people in that free company were leveling and still hadn't reached end game. But their only focus was end game content. So, yeah, it left me with the impression that all the free companies do is not. Or all they do is endgame stuff and nobody ever does the old content. Which is not true. Uh, this company it actually does some of the older treasure maps. Uh, hopefully I get to see show you that uh, someday. Soon. But we're all here now and we're having a lot of fun. But enough of that. Let's get on to episode 2. And continuing our journey into Eorzea. Let's just go to the general tab. Okay. Let's see here. We need to go back to the Adventurers Guild. Oh. Where is that eighth right? Behind me. Okay. Huh. I do not have the Botanist Guild, and I do not have the Lancers nor the Archers Guild. Huh. I thought I did. Almost needs to fix this. There's some very good reasons for that. A lot of t lots to do with time saving, actually. Which is a gathering class, and she didn't know. Basically, ba gathering classes feed your crafting classes, or the crafting classes in the game. And all the crafting classes are actually come kind of interlinked with um, all the others. Namely, it, it, well, in in lower levels, it's not really much of an important, much of a problem because you can just buy the materials, which you can for the later levels. It's just you'll have to do it off the market board, and they are ridiculously expensive uh, yeah, for a lot of materials. Uh, I need the archers, and I need the lancer guild. 
Go, let's cut through the marketplace. Fat cat! I really should get one get one of those for this character. I'm curious to how much they're how much they are. Might have to get one on the next, next episode. This is Lancer's job and taken care of. Now, Archer's Guild. Uh, main Aetherite Plaza. Boogles! Oh, somebody's got the Abrader Otter out. That's all of them. You have attuned yourself to all the Aetherite Shards in Gridania. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible in the a as Aetherite Destinations. Or Aethernate de Destinations. Yes, yes. Let me, uh... Which is a handy way to get to the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, Mother Moene wishes to send an adventurer to the instructor at the Bangkok Bannock. Mika, you have visited the ba Have you visited the Bannock on your one in, on your wanderings? I have not. It is a training ground found just outside the city, where soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Garf. Galfred is an instructor there, and I think you may be may, may be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself, and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Mind you, do not stray far from the path. The Twelve's Wood is no place for merry strolls through the underbrush. Yes, they are filled with many dangerous monsters. Okay, so how do I get there? Well, it's in the central shroud, obviously. And this is the downside to Gridania, is there is no easy, or the Adventurer's Guild doesn't have an easy access Aetherite. So I can just pop out to one of the adjacent sectors. Oh! Brown Squirrel! I need you on my hunting log. Come on. Hey, ladybugs, too. Which unlocks another job quest. Trial by Earth. Interesting. Fourth Fung Art. Uh, this is also in my. Yeah, that's down.
think we have arrived. There it is. Galford. Eh. Uh, okay. Greetings, Mika Sakurai. Mione sent, uh, sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I'm responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelvewood is much changed since the calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong, as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and newsprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the Twelvewood is ailing. It's once rich variety of fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, as my hope that adventurers such, such as you will offer to aid them in their struggle. Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your, bless your endeavors, Mika Sakurai. Uh, do not need gear. I can pack it. And level 6! Woohoo! Okay. Um... Yeah, there goes my beautiful dress for this. Oh, hey. oh. I can't wait to reach old die and get that level 15 or get and reach level 15 for lemurs. <laughs> Seriously. All right. All right. I see you are eager to lend a hand, Mika. That is well, but I cannot in good conscience let send you into the forest until I have established that your equipment is equal to the task. He bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the Seventh Umbral Era, many of the Twelvewood creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without proper gear is tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armor to be of sufficient quality, Present yourself to me for inspection. Yeah, already done. Uh, ready for inspection, are we? Right then, eyes forward, back straight. Hmm, yes, I think you passed muster. You'd be surprised at how many young, promising soldiers get themselves killed by rushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armor. Your equipment, however, should provide the... De Required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty, Mika. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hey. I could use a better arm, I think. Ah, Mika, by your tireless efforts, you have proven yourself a friend to Gridania. I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I am authorized to tell you tell you only that it concerns suspicious activity in the Twelveswood. Say that you will lend us your aid, and I shall proceed with the briefing. Uh, yes. Okay, what's going on? Cutscene time! Good. Time, of the, time is of the essence, so listen well. You will, by now, have heard that a suspicious individual has been seen prowling the Twelveswood. And you may also be aware that Ixal activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you may not know is that, in this, that this increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our quarry is pro proving to be exceedingly delusive. Almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. But where our whole units have failed, a lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Mika. For their sake, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. You have my gratitude. With your help, I am hopeful we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Life Lifeman's Stump. It is there that the majority of sightings took place. Be forewarned. My people cannot offer you support lest our quarry catch sign of our presence and invite us yet again. Proceed with caution. 
Oh boy. Alright, hang on one second here. Yes, yes. And anyone craft me a level five or six uh, conjurer staff. High quality. Let's see here. I'm going to take a quick trip back to Gridania. Seems that it's one of the one things I forgot about. I wouldn't mind having a better staff before I start, start this. <laughs> Not everyone at once, please. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Oh, that is a nice glamour. What have they got? Neo Ishgardian Top of Healing. Uh, okay, that that's a mock station item, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. Actually, that one's better. Yeah, I don't want to log out, craft one, log back in, <laughs> and try and send it to my character. <laughs> Four more damage and has a slight increase to mind. But at this low level, anything helps. And it should last me for a while. That one I do believe is a sage. I'm gonna try those out. Huh, interesting. Uh, let's take a quick pop into... No. I wish I could join you. I need something for the...
Ooh. Her. Where did she get that minion? Yeah, that would do it. Hey, <laughs> she got me everything. Thank you. Ah, yes. Yeah, I can't. Or at this level. I did not know this. Turn that off. Oh, right. All raw, not right. Necklaces or earrings, kind of uh, useless. Yeah, leather choker. Weather choker is bought. I don't think. Yeah, you can't craft. I don't think it can be craft. crafted. He <laughs> had yeah, one armor. Woohoo! Uh, Alright. Anyway, back to the MSQ. No. That's funny. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, I am so used to being able to fly. I should have gone to Gradania. I gotta make the trek all the way up there. Cross the river. Oh, go away. You're not even on my hunt lock, so why would I bother? I certainly don't need the XP. 
Alright. Hmm, green tier. I think I know where that is. Yeah, it's down south there, down there. Oh, nice. Oh, there they are. Level seven. No face. Okay. Oh, water sprites too. Down. Yeah, hunt logs in the early levels will seriously bump up your XP, getting you to at least level 10 easily. See, look at that. I'm almost, already almost to level 8. Yeah, I just need like 700 more XP. And yeah, it's, that's like one more hunt log. I do like this area. You know, I don't think I've ever been here. Hey, we have a duty coming up. Sounds good. Magic Blade. Ha. Huh. You know, the more keen among you may look, look, this is some sort of relevance. Yeah, about to enter. The, yeah, yeah. Proceed. Special. Yeah, I don't care. Look, someone's already here. Uh, who are you guys? Uh, oh dear. Is that a sword in the stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. Are you the suspicious characters we've been not here about? It takes a lot less than that Google! to incite the green wrath, you know? Why, the first time I came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost our ended dark up as a stranger? dinner. Just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all Papalino's fault, no, no, of course. This one. No, he'd sooner swallow his staff than admit that he's wrong. Okay, that was weird. Hmm. Well, not exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? Well, not so much share as... You were flying. How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Kuplo Ka seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? 
Ever since the Calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. And this sort of thing happens. Oh, boy. I didn't start just one of them, there's more of them. It seems we have little choice. And we have a fight on our hands. That's the way. Yeah, my attacks are doing nothing. Oh, there's one more. Oh, no. There's more of them. Dreaming crap. Oh, look, a little late. Way off. Duty complete. this? Where did that come from? What? Whoa! That's new.
crystal bearer. More than just hear, feel, think. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Okay, where do I find them? By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Okay. Seems I'm not the only one she's calling. of ether no doubt hmm. no I don't think so and what have we here Ixel our What's culprit it would seem an Ixel and no ordinary Ixel either a chieftain yeah but why is he dead that they would venture this deep into enemy territory the beastman may indeed be acting under orders. This is Papalimo. We found How the culprit. How are we feeling then? It was an excellent chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Ida? Giant crystals. Oh, loud. Can't say Atlas. I've seen any. Much the same as always. Are you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Over and out. Who he's who is he talking to? Kuplo Cop. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Kupo. That is adorable. Is where we part ways. Till next time, take care. You aren't going to introduce yourselves? I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Considering you're investigating this, why am I doing this and not you? Suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? <laughs> yes, it seemed that way. Time will tell. 
Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless... You don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, the the community does like those two. There's for good reason. All right, time to head back to Gravania. No, no, no. I'm still in the central frog. Fate failed. I didn't even want to be doing the fate. Right, fate stands for uh, full active time event, I believe. Honestly, it's probably just a couple words they strung together to make it sound cool. Alright, Galfred. I come bearing news. Mika! It's good to see you back. One of our patrols sent word that you had been spotted doing battle with the en enraged tree ants. I am relieved to find you none the worse for the experience. But tell me, were you able to discover the... Uh, what were you able to discover at Lifeman's Stump? Uh, a blade. A magic blade. A sword in the stump? And a dead Ixel? Hmm... I can say with absolute certainty that this blade of a, it is of an Ixley origin. It is of a kind used exclusively in the Beastman's rituals. The Ixley rarely set foot in the Central Shroud, so tight is our guard over the area. What purpose could, they, could have driven them to take such a risk? I fear something is afoot. What's that? A dubious couple sporting peculiar spectacles. <laughs> So you've finally been acquainted with Yida and Papalimo. Lay your sus suspicions to rest. Gradani accounts them among the, her staunchest allies. Both are, are Scarlos hailing from, hailing from the distant land, or from a distant land, and have been with us since before the Calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish, and their exchange is baffling, but never once they have given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they often assist the gods Quiver and, and of the Woods Whalers in their work. Much as I hope you will in the days to come, Mika. Although our unknown visitor eludes us still, owing to your efforts, we have acquired important intelligence on the Ixali threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventurer such as you aiding us. I pray you will, be, will continue to serve the people of Gridania in whatever capacity you are able. Alright. Do need to do the conjure request though before I continue. Return to Gridania? Yes, please. Eggs over queasy. <laughs> there are so many references to basically everything in this game. Alright. Uh, I need the Ethernet. And I need the Conjurer's Guild. Ferret just kind of has all sorts of clipping. SME on. Let's learn about the element of Earth. It's good to see you again, Mika. By the air of serenity that surrounds you, it is plain that you have learned to draw upon the energy of creation. I am glad. It is the wellspring of all our power. Yet the energy of creation is not one thing, but many. And to call upon all without first knowing each is conjury at its most basic. 
As a part of your continuing education, it is my desire you now learn about the elements of Earth. Make your way to Blessed Bud in the North Shroud and there, there partake of Hearer's no, Hearer Nolanel's wisdom. The depth of his infinity, affinity for the elementals of rock and soil is all but unique among, amongst conjurer, conjurers. And he's a gifted instructor besides. You may be certain of receiving the most enlightening lesson on the subject of Earth. And where is Blessed Bud? North Shroud. Alright. I've yet to set foot in North Shroud. Uh, why is there a warrior in the Conjurer's Guild? Oh, that's curious. Okay. Uh, North Shroud. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Now it looks like we go down this way. I don't think that's... Uh, I think that might be. Uh, I might need to get up there. No, 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 no. It is down. Oh. Look, I need to kill you. I'm almost to level nine. Nolanel. You seek here, Nolanel? And seek no more, for you found him. What can I do for you, friend? So, brother A Aethemion bid, bid you come to learn... Come to me to learn the element of Earth? But as well, the power of Earth is the solid foundation upon which a conjurer stands. I could happily lecture you for days on its intricate var variations and properties. Yeah, let's not. But I rather suspect the busy life and adventure would not afford the time required for some, such an extended discourse. Accordingly, I shall offer you an opportunity to experience the qualities of Earth firsthand in combat. Now mark me well, Mika, and do exactly as I command. East of here, in the grounds of Tree Speak Stables, there exists a patch of soil that bears the mark of corruption. Seek it out. When you have found the place, reach out to, to the focus focus of the Earth's trauma and attempt to commune with it, as all conjurers can. Resentful of your intrusion, the tainted being that feasts upon un, unseen upon the energy seeping from the wounded Earth shall then appear. Using the powers of conjury, strike it down and permit the land a chance to heal. Much of the nature of Earth will be revealed to you during the struggle, Nika. I trust you will turn to me a wiser woman than, than she who now departs. Um, uh, looks like I need to go back up into that, uh, up here. Tree Speak Stables. And there it is, Corrupted Soil. That worked. Ow.
every turn. Welcome back, Mika. The elements whisper of your accomplishments. How did it feel to confront the embodiment of Earth, to endure its onslaught? Has the crushing power of this element shaken the very marrow of your bones? Corruption occurs when the land's wounds are prevented from healing. In vanquishing the tainted spirit, you permitted the Earth's energies to flow unimpeded and to nourish the land once more. Can you not sense the strength of the Earth returning? Already the land begins to heal. Thanks to your actions, that field will once again bear bountiful crops. When next you have reason to call upon your art, look back upon this task and that which you accomplished. Experience once more the grinding weight of the Earth's fury and revel in the memories of life flowing anew through the land you helped restore. With such thoughts shall, you under shall your understanding of, the of nature continue to grow. I hope you were paying attention, said Sylphie. I think that's how you pronounce it. Where did she come from? She's cute. See this adventure here? Mika came all the way from Silglade Fane just to hear my lesson. You would do well to learn from her example. If you wish to become a conjurer worthy of the name, you must make an effort to study nature. Do you attend me, young lady? Why should I bother studying nature? I can conjure already. Oh, this can't bode well. See? You have a rare gift for healing, Sophie. A wonderful gift. Yet there's more to being a conjurer than... I don't want to do more. I want to heal. I'm good at healing. You can't make me do those other things. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Sylphie joined the guild shortly before you came to us. As, you're, as you yourself just experienced, she possesses a prod prodigious talent for healing. Indeed, despite her tender years, I know a few conjurers who are e her equal in that field. Alas, nature, the very wellspring of her power, holds no interest for the child. And when she should by rights be learning about the land, she prefers instead to wander it, healing people on a whim. You, in contrast, have been most a most attentive student. I have taught you all I know of the element of Earth. You may report back to Brother Isumi, Isumi and tell him as much. Okay. And my teleport or return spell is on cooldown. Yeah. I really wish it didn't have a 15 minute cooldown. Or I had a mount, or both. I can't even sprint all the way. No birds allowed. <laughs> Conjurer's Guild. Uh, looks like they're talking about Heaven's Ward. Mount Farming. Now, wait till you see those things. Those are awesome. 
Isumi on. Pull out your wand. Ah, Mika, you have returned. But tell me, how did you fare under no one else's ex expert tutelage? Have you delved deep into the earth, into the earth, and felt its suffocating weight, its life-sustaining vigor? Such experiences will serve you well. And have you aught to else re to report? Hmm. A fledgling conjurer named Sophie cast healing magic upon you. How kind of her. <sighs> I must confess to sharing no one else's frustration with the girl. As you yourself have witnessed, Sophie possesses a natural talent for the conjury of mending and restoration. Alas, her gifts appear to have blinded her to the need to, for study, and she outright refuses to learn about the natural world. She knows nothing of the elementals of earth and wind, and is quite incapable of conjuring even the tiniest pebble or the faintest breeze. I have tried upon numerous occasions to explain to her that conjurers who are ignorant of the source of their powers pose a risk to themselves and others, but to all to no avail. Should she continue to deny the debt she owes to nature and indulge in ever more reckless displays of power, there is every possibility she will create a dangerous imbalance. Needless to say, I am presently at a loss to know how such an eventuality might be prevented. Ah! A thought occurs to me, Mika. It may be that your encounter with Sophie was ordained by the elementals. Should you chance to meet with her again, I ask you to strive to impress upon her the importance of opening oneself to nat nature's gift. Nature's voice, I'm sorry. Mayhap she will listen to you. Well, we have discussed our wayward young friend's education enough. Let us speak instead of one of my more willing pupils, namely you. The progress you have made does, does you great credit, Mika. Though you, you are yet new to the art of conjury, you are no stranger to nature's embrace. Considering all that you have learned, I hope you understand the true significance of these words. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, those do mean no good. I will take that though. Quest complete. Alright. You know, I wonder something. Thought just occurred to me while looking at that some of that stuff. <laughs> Level one? Square Maple Shield? Yes. Landing. Oh, Lord. Uh, looks like they started from out in Uldaw. I don't think that's one I can uh, get, though. Yeah, gone from Gordania. <laughs> Greetings, I am one of the Smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a de dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have entrusted the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you have but recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle. The possibility stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventurers Guild, we see, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by the title of Mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will ha li likely have a solution for whatever dilemma you may be might be causing you trouble. Ha! <laughs> no, they don't. Mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. I highly recommend that you take the advantage, advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experiences in Eorzea. Probably do not hesitate to ask me if you'd like to know more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh,
Apparently not. I think that starts at level 15. Unfortunately, I cannot. I was hoping to get some of the brand new equipment, but I think that's locked behind level 15. Alas. Eggs are easy, or, or over queasy, it seems. Man, I cannot wait for me to be to have glamours unlocked. Seriously. All right. I guess this is where I shall stop for this episode and start for an episode three pretty soon here. Till next time. <laughs>